Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rayanne and today we're going to be doing another makeup video. So backstory of this video, I love Love Island. I've only watched the UK version. I love it. Like I'm obsessed with it. It's the only reality TV I really watch. When this latest season came out, I was so happy because we were gypped during the pandemic. They obviously didn't film one. I became obsessed with Millie and Mary this season because they just had like a cool style and like just looked stunning. And especially Mary, I think she might be the most beautiful person I've ever laid my eyes on. It's crazy. I like went down a rabbit hole of her like content and stuff. Her YouTube channel channel. She did an updated makeup tutorial on how she like did her makeup looks in the villa. And I was like, went rogue and bought all the products she used. I feel like I was in a makeup rut. So I'm going to be trying her makeup tutorial. So it could be a disaster. It could work out well. I don't really know. And also if that wasn't chaotic enough, she answered assumptions. So I asked you guys assumptions or questions for me. And I'm also going to answer those while we do the video. So I need to pull them up actually. Okay, so let's get started. Hey Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. Her so skin. I'm going to do an updated version of my makeup tutorial. It's a very, very asked question from coming out of the villa, my makeup tutorial. First things first, I've just put on the Skin Food by Welder. I got this wrong last time in my YouTube video. I don't know what it's called. Okay, Skin Food by Welda. I ordered this stuff and this one, I'm like, Mary, Mary, Mary. Your skin looks amazing, but I don't know if I got the right thing because let me show you how thick this is. Like, that is so thick. I am a bit scared to put it on my face. I don't know. I don't know if this is like for your body, but I'm gonna try it and just put a little bit on and use it sparingly because this stuff is so thick. It honestly feels like I'm putting like foot cream on my face. So Mary, I don't know about this one, but I very well could have ordered the wrong thing. I don't know. Oh, but I do kind of feel like I'm glowing like Mary. So maybe I'm onto something here. She is gl she's glowing. Okay. Yeah, I've started off by doing this. Then I will go with the Charlotte Tilbury. I can't actually see what this is called, but I will link all the products below because of the sticker I had to put on the thing. But it's really good for like underneath foundation. So yeah, I'll just put a little bit of this on. Okay, so the first thing she's using is the Charlotte Til Tilbury a Hollywood Flawless Filter. I got it in the shade three, which is fair. So she just kind of puts it underneath my foundation. It just makes it like really glowy. Not that really you probably even need it after using the skin food because the skin food literally makes your skin glow. So yeah, just blend this in. Okay, she just kind of puts it all over her face like so. And while I blend this in, let's answer an assumption. Men are scared of you because you're a bad bitch with a large online presence and following. Whoa, I think that I would like to maybe think that's true. But to be honest, I don't know if it is. I have had guys ask for my Instagram and then never talk to me again or like unmatch me. I'm very hesitant giving out my Instagram before the first date. I really don't do that if they ask. I say something like kind of trying to be like cute and whatever, which is difficult for me. I'm like, oh, I don't give that out till after the third date or whatever. Here's the thing. I think that men, being totally honest, are more judgmental than intimidated of what I do. I share a lot online. I think influencers get a bad rap and I don't really know if it's intimidation or more of just like a turnoff, but regardless of the reason behind it, I think my job makes it more difficult for me to find someone that's gonna be open and supportive about it. But like, this is my literally purpose in life. Like I think I've made to share and I wouldn't have it any other way. So if a guy is not into that, then it's not for me, but it has been really hard. I mean, like when you give a guy you're interested in your Instagram and then he unmatches you or goes to, it's a pretty shitty feeling. So I don't know if it's because they're intimidated. I just think that for me, yes, I am successful, but nowadays I feel like so many women are, are, are super, super successful. So for me, maybe if I was like even leveling up more 10 years down the road, then yeah, I could see it be an intimidating thing, so. 
I don't know, man. Men really, really confuse me. I don't really understand them. Okay. This is still the same as my last YouTube video if you've watched my makeup routine from that. And I don't think I'll ever change from this foundation now because it is actually the best ever. So it is the Hourglass Foundation Sticks. I wear the shade Honey in this. When I was away in Mallorca, I actually wore... Okay, so Mary swears by this Hourglass foundation. Uh, they matched me with the shade Linen and I just felt like it looked so yellow. And the girl at Sephora did say this is a hard one to match. So I'm trying this one in porcelain, but I feel like it's pretty pale, but I don't know, Mary swears by this. So we're just gonna try it and see. But like, oh my God, that's so pale. Oh, I think I put way too much on. I think it's like called warm honey, because obviously I did go quite tan, but now I'm back and my tan has botched at the left. Okay. I'm back using the honey. So yeah, that is the shade that I use. Maybe in winter, I will drop down. All right. And it looks like she's using the same brush, which I'm just using this hourglass brush and I'm like everything below. Oh God, see. Oh my God, I feel pale. I feel pale. Oh, I don't know about this. Maybe once we get bronzer on here. Okay, while I rub this in, let's do another assumption. Do you speak another language, Ryan? Si, sí, yo hablo español, pero yo necesito practicar porque es no bueno. Uh, that's about all I can say. I would love to speak Spanish. I would love to speak another language. Someone's like, I just want your exciting traveling life. Here's the thing, my life on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't want to use the word boring. It's just very, it's just life. Like the majority of life is mundane, simple things. It's like waking up, going for a walk, listening to a podcast, making breakfast, having a coffee, working, maybe seeing friends. Like that's the majority of my life. Like of course on occasion I'll travel and go to events and do like extravagant things, but my life is boring. And I think too with social media, it's like we feel this pressure to be doing crazy extravagant things all the time. And that's just not how life is. Like the majority of life is just these normal mundane things, but they don't even have to be mundane. Like your morning walk, like that's, I think it's like, we feel like it's boring because we're, seeing someone else on like a freaking yacht in Capri. You know what I mean? Like majority of my life is not exciting is, is what I'm trying to say. It's very normal. This foundation is, I don't know, man. I feel like it's yellow. I blend this down my neck. Ooh. Also, one thing I will say, I'm very much a proponent of you create the life that you want and you can create exactly what you want in life. So if you're not happy, go out and change it. I stand by that. Okay, let's see what Ma Mary does next, Mary. I'm gonna go on with, again, my favorite. So the Tarte concealers, again, the stickers are still on, but. Okay, so Mary uses the Tarte concealer, but I just got like a new NARS concealer. So sorry, babe, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. Then with a wet beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend this out. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna answer another assumption. <sighs> Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna answer another assumption. Oh my God, I look crazy. I can already tell this is much more makeup than I usually wear. I'm gonna pull up another assumption. How do you practice feeling good about being single? I'm struggling. Being 100% real with you, I'm really lucky because the majority of my close friends are also single. I think my answer to this would be different if all of my close friends were married or in relationships. And like, of course I do have close friends who are in that stage of life, but the majority of my close friends are single like me and dating. So we want to naturally do the same things and spend time together. If you don't, you don't know, I was in a relationship for eight years um, and this has been my first year of dating. So I really have only, I've kind of been in my hot girl summer mode. I definitely wanted to kind of have a little bit of a hoe phase, if you will. I, I really wasn't looking for a relationship. I wanted to experience some other things, but I'll be honest with you, in recent weeks, I feel like for the first time, I'm bored 
of this. Just like hot girl summer, dating around, that sort of thing. I'm bored and I do want a relationship. I do. And that's like the first time I've really said that seriously and like meant it. I do want a relationship. Three of my closest friends right now have recently met people and like, I'm so happy for them. <laughs> so happy. But I'll be honest, I'm panicking a little bit because it's like, it just, it changes when your friends are in relationships and you're not, it changes. That's just the matter of it. If I was in a relationship and they were single, it would change. Like it's not, I'm not resentful or whatever. I'm so happy for them but like it just changes the dynamic. It's okay to struggle. And again, I think I feel sympathetic if you're in a place where a lot of your friends are married or in relationships, that's really hard being the only one, but I guarantee you, they want things about your single life and, and vice versa. You want things about their relationship life. Like the grass is always greener. So you have to focus on the incredible aspects of being single. You never know who you're gonna meet. You literally are open to every opportunity. You can travel when you wanna travel. You can do whatever you wanna do. Like there's so many positives to both situations, being in a relationship and being single. So if you're in that stage of single, embrace every single moment of it because if long term down the road you want to get married you want to be in a relationship that's going to be a lot of your life so like right now you are single embrace it focus on all of the incredible things you get to do and the benefits of being a single woman that you don't have in a relationship and of course relationship brings so many positive things but there are a lot of things about being single that you just can't get back when you're in a relationship. So try your best to embrace it and don't put too much pressure on it. You're not crazy for being single. Like I'm 28, I'm single. Many of my friends are in their 30s, going into their 40s, single. Like there's nothing fucking wrong with you. Then I am going to go in again with another shade of the Hourglass foundation stick. So I use the shade Almond just for my contours. I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks on the edges of my head, down my nose. Voila. So then I'm just gonna blend it in. The nose one makes me nervous. Oh my God. Because I don't really, I've like contoured my nose probably three times in my life and I feel like it looks like shit. So she did, oh, she did down her nose, damn it. This ain't gonna end well. <laughs> The same brush as I do my foundation with. I do actually normally have two different brushes. Well, the same brush, but two different ones for my foundation and my contour. However, I lost it on a night out about a week ago. So. Okay, this actually looks nice, this part. Okay, we're, buff we're buffing people, we're buffing. Oh, that looks nice actually, okay. I honestly don't even know what brush she's using. So I have this one that I might try. Oh God. Like, I don't know how people just casually know how to nose contour. I don't know. And just contour that nose, which brings me on to another assumption. I cannot iterate enough. How bad I think this looks. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to do the beauty blender. This is not Mary approved to tour part of the tutorial, but okay, how's this looking? Oh God. Next step before I carry on this rant. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's not really a rant. The Laura Mercier translucent powder. This again, I've used for years. It is one of my key products. I literally could not live without it. And I'm just gonna put some on my beauty blender and Put it underneath my eyes. Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Carrying on from the filler and the nose job and everything. Obviously, I am not at all promoting to get this done. You know, I'm just being truthful about what I have had done. But something else that has come to my attention since leaving the villa has been so many places like that do aesthetics, so many different clinics have posted on their Instagram. All right, while I'm doing this, I'm going to uh, answer another assumption. When was your last date? My last date was, today is Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday, I'm going Tuesday, and I went on a date on Saturday. And it was good, um, it was good. Oh, look at this creasing. I don't know if it's my eyelids. I don't usually put like makeup on my eyelids for this reason, and I don't think I should have put that. 
foundation on my eyelids, so I'm gonna wipe that off. I'll tell you what, Mary's increasing. That is for sure. I feel like sometimes I overshare and maybe these guys hear what I'm saying. And honestly, I, I I think I need to like scale back a little bit and not share as much when it comes to my dating life. So it was good. I, it was bad. I'm just going to leave that to set a little bit and then go into my eyes. So for my eyes at the minute, I am using the Huda Beauty Nude Medium Palette and I use the shade this one here. So I'm just gonna put that on like a big fluffy brush and just put it along my crease. Okay, this is similar to, so she uses a nude palette and I usually use a bronzer, but whatever Mary says, we do. Ooh, okay, I might have bought too much. Oh brother. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Also, to be honest, Mary does an eyeliner and I just know eyeliner does not look good on me. So I'm skipping this part, sorry. The bronzer I use is the Hourglass Bronzer. It says Luminous Bronze Light. Okay, I'm actually like, ah, Mary and I use the same bronzer. I've been using this bronzer for like, Maybe two years now. I love this bronzer. Um, okay, let's look at another question. Making friends in LA, just moved here. Oh girl, I feel you. I literally have been here for four years now and just this year, January, 2021 and moving on, do I feel like I've really found like a community of friends. So it takes time, do not give up on a place. It takes time, but just like dating, you have to be intentional. You have to put yourself in situations where you're gonna meet people, slide into girls DMs, go on Bumble BFF, sign up for a beach volleyball league. Like you have to put yourself out there. Like I used to ask people to, I still do, which was hard for me because I tend to not be a planner. I wait for people to invite me to things. And I was like, if I wanna make friends, I'm gonna to have to get over this and ask people to hang out. So my, I would always set up one friend day a week. We would get drinks, we would go do something like, one friend date a week to start making friends. And that honestly changed the game for me. And then actually I like, talked about on my podcast how I was like super lonely, yada, yada, yada. My now, one of my like best friends slid into my DMs. We had met once before at an event in LA and she was like, girl, we need to get together. Like we're gonna be friends. And I'm like so thankful for her because we were immediate friends. And I was like, oh my God, like thank you for coming into my life. <laughs> So just give it time and um, be intentional about it. So I'm now gonna go in my blush. I love blush, it's actually my favorite makeup product. So at the minute I'm using the NARS blush in the shade Deep Throw and it is honestly amazing. Like, look at that pink. So I put it on my cheeks, on my nose. Sometimes I go a bit too overboard with it, I admit, but I just love it. Okay, so I thought I was just recording and I wasn't. Really, Mary get, says to go hard on the blush. So she does like all up here, nose, eyes. She even did like, I feel like she did it everywhere. So I did it everywhere. She uses the NARS blush in Deep Throat and I really love, 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 love how this looks. Okay. For my eyebrows, I have actually changed what I have been using. So I recently started using the Benefit brow pencil. Okay, now Mary's doing her eyebrows. She has incredible eyebrows. I did not buy the eyebrow product she uses because I really love mine. And that was one thing I don't really think I need to like change. And it seems very similar. So I'm using the Huda Beauty one, which is what my brow girl Tori recommends. I just fill in like the edges of my brows where there's just gaps. Now the edges on my eyebrows are a little bit thin. So I just fill in the gaps. Okay, I feel like how Mary does her eyebrows is also very similar to how I usually do mine. So I'm just doing mine how I usually do them. With this brow thing, pencil, you can really get in there with nice like hair strokes. Dun -dun, like this, I'm like drawing hairs. But the thing is with eyebrows, having someone who knows how to do them and give you that shape to start with to do this 
is the main thing. Okay, this is actually looking good. I was scared about that foundation color. Filling in, filling in, drawing hair strokes. Here we go. Then I will just set the brows using the Benefit Clear Brow Gel. I'm really on Benefit at the minute for eyebrows. It's really great, it's just come from nowhere. But yeah, I'll just set the brows in place just so they don't move. Brow gel. She does more of a line under her brows, so I'm actually gonna do that today because this is about trying new things. This is about trying new things than what I normally do. Now let's brush that out to soften it a bit. Okay, and then she uses the Benefit Clear Brow Gel, but again, I was just, I already have like three brow gels in my makeup bag, so I didn't get that one. Honestly, I was really on the Refi train, but recently I feel like it's getting like residue. It's like not as clear as I want. So I feel like there's residue and I didn't feel like it used to be like that. Um, and I think it has something to do with if you get makeup in your eyebrows before you do it. I don't know. So I'm using the Makeup by Mario Clear Brow Gel and we'll just run that through. This stuff definitely has more like hold to it than the refi, like the refi is more, um, or refi, I don't even know, is more like moldable. And this one is more like stiff. Brows, oh yeah, baby, they look good. They look good. I used this product years ago for so long and I've recently come back to it because I tried it again and I was like, wow, you forget how good it is. So it is the iconic London illuminating drops. I just feel like it's Okay, so I could not get my hands on the iconic London illuminating drops in time to film this video. So I'm gonna use my normal highlighter, which is the Hourglass highlighter in Euphoric Strobe Light. Um, and while I do this, let's answer another question. How to slide into someone you don't know's DMs? Okay, girl, well, what are we talking about? Are we talking about a man? Are we talking about a girl? Because if it's a man, I've only done that twice. And one time he unfollowed me. And the other time I never heard from him. So I don't have good advice for girls. I slide into girls DMs every, every day. I'm like, oh my God, you are so stunning. Your content, incredible. Just like pipe them up with compliments. But I feel like you're talking about a guy and I really don't know. So I don't think I can answer this for you because if you listen to the podcast, we did that one time with this guy on TikTok and he unfollowed me. We were following each other. Slid into his DMs, unfollowed me. So I don't have good advice, I don't. But I will say you have to try and think of something that's gonna make you stand out if they're getting like a lot of girls in their DMs. Or maybe they're not getting a lot of girls in their DMs. I don't know. But again, I just don't think I, I don't have the confidence to um, answer this question because of my horrible track record with this. <laughs> okay, now we're doing the lips. Today, I'm going to use Morph Bite Me Lip Liner. After I've sharpened it, I am. Okay, so she uses the Morphe lip liner in Bite Me, which it was like sold out. So I just got one that I thought looked similar, which is the Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. I have probably put on lip liner three times in my life, so this is gonna be interesting. And just line the edges of our lips. Oh God. I do bring the liner a little bit into my lips, Okay, hers is way darker. I don't know why I do this. I've just always done this. So then I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty. Oh, hold on, Mary. Yeah, her liner definitely looked a bit darker. Okay, then she like brings it in. Yeah, I don't think I could go darker just with my complexion. I think Mary's a little bit tanner. Don't look too close to the line of this. I don't know <laughs> how good of a job I did. Then I'm gonna use the Doll Beauty. Lipstick, oh my God, look how dirty all my makeup products are. This is actually really disgusting, guys. I'm sorry that you haven't seen this. The shade Dolled Out. And I just put like this in the middle of my lips. Like so. Bought them together. Now with my finger, I just like dab the lips. What the? This looks so different on me than it does on her. 
Okay, she like rubbed it in. <laughs> what? I feel like this lip combo like looked so good on her. Okay, it's looking a little better. It just finishes your look off a little bit more. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty lip gloss in shade Fussy. Literally, I feel like every girl in the villa wore this lip gloss and it has been a favorite of mine for years. I always have one of these dotting around in my bags. And then just set all of my makeup with the Urban Decay setting spray. Again, I've used this for years. I always just vary between like different ones, but this has been a favorite of mine for years. You know what I realized? I completely skipped over her part about the mascara and I didn't even order whatever mascara she got. So, okay, this is a mostly Mary look. Also, I don't know, my lips look weird in the camera, but I think they actually look okay in the mirror. Okay, so I'm just using the mascara I always use, which is this Honest Mascara and Primer. I don't know, I'm kind of picky when it comes to mascara. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this up-to-date makeup tutorial and a little bit of answering some assumptions that have been flying around. See you on next video. Bye, guys. Okay, so here is the final look. This is definitely more makeup than I'm used to wearing. Like I would do this for like nighttime, night out, definitely not daytime, it's a lot. But I think it looks pretty good. Do I look like Mary yet? Oh my God, Mary. I think it looks pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm gonna go stare at myself in the mirror now at this makeup look. Ooh. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.